Hey guys, Ruby here with the Orthodox Aquatics. Hope you guys had a great holiday. I've been having some fun and I've been crazy busy. So uh, I have a little lag in my uh, space between videos lately. But anyways, uh, today I'm here to talk with you about the Sunshine Placostomus. So here I am in front of my 65 gallon tank. Uh, this tank also houses a little baby Fahaka puffer. Um, and also who I have in here is a Sunshine Placostomus. I've been waiting for a really long time to get this fish guys. I'm super excited about it. Um, and uh, I will take out the decoration here so we can see him. He likes to hide under there. Um, but he's been getting braver lately since uh, you know, being new to the tank, he was a little shy, but he's been getting braver, been coming out, and uh, let's uh, talk a little about him and uh, take a closer look, shall we? So there he is, underneath the decoration, just a cool looking pleco. Um, these guys originate from South America in the Amazon River Basin in Brazil. Um, they're also called a Goldie Pleco, uh, and their L number is L014 or L14. Um, they're characterized by those beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at that, that brownish black body um, with uh, the white spots and the brilliant yellow orange tail fin and uh, dorsal fin and pectoral fin. Um, and these guys also uh, are known for having spoon-shaped teeth, uh, and that's helpful for picking mollusks off of shells and rocks and things like that. Um, the males are larger in the head. I'm not sure about the sex of this one yet. Uh, I've just kind of been letting it chill. But um, the males are larger in the head, and uh, they uh, can develop like a bristly appearance. And uh, the females, um, they get wider in the body for holding eggs and things. Anyway, I'm going to take out this decoration and we'll see him a little better. So there he is. <laughs> He's like, where'd my decoration go? Look at those gorgeous colors on this guy, folks. Just amazing. And he's got like those light kind of stripes. Um, and uh, these guys can change their appearance with age. But uh, look at this guy, just those brilliant yellow tail fins, dorsal fins, pec fins, just an amazing specimen. So these guys, uh, they can get around 14 to 16 inches in the wild, pretty big. Um, but according to some of my research, uh, upon doing surveys and studies and things like that and just gathering general information, um, the average is about 10 to 12 inches in uh, an aquarium setting. Um, they are a very peaceful bottom dweller. For the most part, they can get a little aggressive with their own species uh, and other fish. If there's not enough claimable territory available in the tank, they can get a little rough. Um, or if there's improper tank stocking as well. So uh, they need uh, hiding spots and territories and things like that. Um, in order to uh, be, you know, a little more peaceful in their tank environment. So, like I mentioned before, these guys can be a little shy and elusive in a new tank environment. Um, they are primarily nocturnal, but they can be bold daytime swimmers once they get comfortable in their tank. Uh, also, um, when it comes to tank size, if you're going to keep these guys, 120 gallon minimum uh, for their size is usually what's recommended. Some people use around 100 gallons, but you know, the bigger the better for those species of uh, cats that get a little bigger. Um, a good amount of ground footprint is also suggested since they are those bottom dwellers and feeders. Um, let's see, they are tropical. Uh, 78 to 82 degrees is recommended for these guys. As you can see, I've got sand in this tank. Sand and bare bottom uh, is recommended. These guys can eat a lot. 
uh, and um, they it's also favored for uh, comfort and ease of cleaning. Um, they appreciate a natural environment with wood, smooth stones, caves, those territories they can claim. Oh, there's the little puffer. What do you guys think? Somebody told me online that I should not keep this little guy with the pleco. Um, you know, so uh, a video will be coming up on him soon, maybe when he gets a little bigger. But uh, what do you guys think? Drop it in the comments if I should keep them together, at least for a little while. This is a Fajaca puffer, so um, it's going to get large. Uh, this is a temporary grow out for him. So, oh, we're dancing backwards. Maybe they'll be buddies. So, uh, yeah, um, that filtration uh, is good since they're a little messy because, interestingly enough, uh, what I was surprised to find out about this pleco is it is mostly a carnivore. Um, most plecos and a lot of them, uh, they're technically omnivores, but uh, a lot like the commons and things like that, they favor veggies and algae and things like that uh, over protein products, pellets, or meaty things. Um, they uh, eat shrimp, chopped up frozen fish, frozen cube foods, sinking wafers, um, a varied diet is recommended for these guys. So yeah, he's got that little fajaca as a tank mate currently. Um, as far as tank mates for these guys, um, they can be um, compatible with many, many things. Community fish, smaller fish, since they are uh, bottom dwellers. If any of your fish die, I'm sure they would probably have a feast. Um, and uh, larger cichlids, other uh, catfish or bottom dwellers, other pleco breeds even, as long as the territories uh, are good and um, the other stocking is, is, uh, <laughs> is, uh, is good as well to prevent um, any aggression from these guys. So, uh, yeah, many, many options for tank mates. So that's about it in a nutshell for the Sunshine Pleco today. We'll give you updates as he grows and becomes more uh, acclimated to this tank. Thanks guys for stopping by. Sub to my channel if you like. Check out my OnlyFans also if you like, the Gypsy Mermaid. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.